Hello, and welcome to another episode of The Sports Show. Allow us to introduce ourselves for anyone who's new here. My name is Heston. My name is Ben. What's up, y'all? I'm Nick. Let's go. Let's and go. we are definitely not experts. At all. Oh, shit. Uh, at all. I, at all, bro. <laughs> at all. Whatsoever. Bro. At all. Some of it it might be cool if y'all split that. Like, you go at, at all. Oh, shit. That might be lit. Be yeah, lit. that That'd might be, be cool. I like that. I think, wait, stay tuned next week. Hey. On the road to thirteen, thirteen. That's our new. That's our current sub goal. We're about to get there. We're looking pretty, pretty. Y'all are looking pretty, pretty. But um, in order for us to do so, we need y'all to fucking sub to the show. We shout out to all the subs that are already here. Shout out to the sub subs. Shout out to the mom subs. Um, blah, 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 blah. um, we have a tradition around here. We ask you to grab yourself a glass of whatever makes you happy. Fill it with whatever makes you happy. And join us. Nothing makes me happy, so it's empty. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, pour one out <laughs> for the homies. <laughs> Clank it. Yo. Yes, sir. I'm all Bam. 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 Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm going to sip up. Let's get it. Fuck let's yeah. Hey, the Super Bowl happened. Hey, let's all just take a collect. Okay, so like y'all might be annoyed with Taylor Swift. Y'all might hate Travis Kelsey. Y'all might like think all that bullshit. But with all that being said... I hate the Niners more, man. So fuck y'all. Oh yeah. I'm glad y'all fucking lost. Oh because yeah. y'all did not deserve to be there. Do you understand me? Fuck yeah. Okay, yeah. Nick, you said you said you watched the game, right? I did. I did. I I watched maybe like I think I woke up during the second quarter. Oh, that's a vibe. Just like, oh fuck. You didn't go. miss anything. Yeah. It was uh, scoreless. You, quite first quarter. literally. Scoreless first <laughs> yeah. quarter. You didn't miss shit. Miss like a fumble. Yeah. I was and like a nice little nap. And then when I woke up, I think like Casey was driving, like literally trying to drive in from the 30. And then it went like to a crazy ass turnover. First and goal. Pacheco cuts it outside. Tries to do it a second time. And he lost the football. And the Niners are on it. And I was like, all right, here we go. Like, fucking game is started. Ready to rock and roll, <laughs> man. Fuck yeah. Uh, the game ended in a fashion that I was extremely happy with. I was, yes. I was shocked to see yes. it go to overtime. I didn't know. Yeah, I didn't dude, think that would happen. So, actually, like, as it was getting down, I think, so, uh, KC took a lead, right? And then... The 49ers came back, yep. kicked the field goal. Before they got the field goal, like right before I started thinking in my head, I was like, overtime? Like, could we Wait, get no, overtime? Like, no way. I was like, like and so no I, looked, way. I had to look it up. I was like, okay, how many times has overtime happened? And Until the game's over. One time, one Super Bowl, overtime has happened. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, and Kyle Shanahan was in that one, too. That was Tom Brady. That was against the Falcons, yep. right? Was that and Super Bowl 50? 51. 51. Super Bowl 51. And Shouts out to Shanahan. For that was before both. before the broadcast was even on the idea of overtime. I was like, that'd be sick. If we it would overtime. be sick. Like last game of the season, you get just a little bit more. Like fuck yeah, man. Um, and what? So like, what's crazy? Like, well, well, actually, we could just like we could actually just play this so that y'all kind of understand what's going on. Um, but um, so in years past. They um the way that it worked is like if a game went to overtime, there's a coin toss to determine who gets the ball first, and from there, whoever's like if the if the team who receives the ball in overtime scores a touchdown, the game is over. Um, and then uh, otherwise, if they kick a field goal, um, or if they give the ball back to the other team, the other team either has to match, or they lose. That's it. Or score. They or have score. to either get a field goal or score. That's it. So first of all, uh, smoking's bad. You shouldn't smoke. Um, uh, but they changed the rules to where if the team gets the, uh, if the team who receives the ball scores a touchdown, the game is not automatically over and both teams are required to get a possession. And that's new. That just happened like within the last couple of years. Right. And it was because of, uh, the bills. It was either the bills or the chiefs. Like one of them lost in overtime, like without getting the ball back, it made like a real big stinker about it. Yeah. And it was like, like everyone was like, all right, all right, all right, like fine. Like we'll make a change to where like both teams can get possession of the ball and that's it. Looking to the end zone for the win. He caught it. Ball game. Chief. So apparently like a number of the 49ers players like weren't aware of the new uh, overtime rules. Uh, and oh, by the way, just this popped into my head. Did y'all see that? Like one of the top linebackers for the 49ers tore his Achilles running out yep. onto the that field. Shows, that was nuts. Did I you see it? Yeah. Replay of it. Yeah. Well, here let's we'll, for we'll, anyone we'll who hasn't. Right. Yeah. For anyone who hasn't, take a look at this. It's bullshit. crazy. How look. many Achilles injuries have we had this season, dude? 
That was it right there. Just blew his shit out. Look there. No. No. Look, look. He's like, he's jumping. He's jumping. Pulled right the there. That's it. Like, that's that? the extension. Right there. That, like, that stance. Now, the main problem area is up here. All of this going on up here is what's causing me the most physical discomfort. Pop. Ugh, dude. And then look at his teammates next to him. Look. Oh, what do you mean? What? Yeah. No, what? No. In the Super <laughs> Bowl, bro? What were those called? Like when you're in PE and like you had to go like put your knee down? Lunges. Yeah, lunges. Like, yeah. Bro, like don't you get paid for that? I know, dude. It's It's got to be. You know what I was thinking? Like in, in all seriousness, like honestly, bro, like the, the Achilles tendon, it's like a rubber band oh. is the way it works. So, like, whenever it blows out, it's because it's under a tremendous amount of stress. So, like, it doesn't, like, for it to pop like that, sometimes, like, like, he probably injured it, like, earlier in the game or, like, last right. week or something. And then it just took that. Oh. Like, it was already kind of worn down. Exactly. Like, if you literally took a rubber band yep. and, like, stretched to its it, absolute it, limit. It, uh huh. And, and then all you got to do is just. And, and it just Oh god! And then you wonder what the worst part is. Like, not only did he not get to finish the Super Bowl, and they fucking lost. Like, if you win, I think you're kind of like, all right, oh, okay, like, yeah, all right, yeah, like, like, well, like, yeah, right. Shoot. Damn, thank I God, died, died for this shit. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. Like, like one of the Packers, I think it was Donald Driver. Like, he broke his arm or some shit. But then we won the Super Bowl. So, like, who gives a shit, yeah. you know? But now the worst part is like, now he's got a rehab. Yeah. Everything's magnified in the loss, dude. It's like washed and cleansed it really if you is. win. Because at that point, lose, none of it was worth it. Yeah. Like, like who gives a shit? I will like, say, bro, like, even if it was, you know, even if it was going to happen at some point in the game, which it probably was. Yeah. The fact that, like, he was, like, too animated. Yeah. He was, he was doing too much. And he changed his He was doing too much. On a dime. He was going vertical. Yep. And, and then, then he went horizontal. Yep. He tried to go too quick. Too it's much. Like, oh. Too much. Um, all right, so uh, Pat McAfee and the boys, they, they broke down like some of the players like not knowing about the rules and stuff, and I don't know all the details, so I'm just going to let them speak for us, and we'll just kind of like see what's going on. So I don't even remember when the rules changed, to be honest, because I thought it was uh, I thought they that changed only it. if you kicked a field goal does the other team get the ball. I thought they changed it in like 05. Are and how prepared they are for you know every possible scenario. If they score a touchdown, does the entire sideline spread onto the field? Yeah, their set awesome? is so cool. Yeah, it's pretty sick. I'm actually envious. Goals, of that. yeah, goals. Yeah, the fucking robot camera. There is yeah, their cameras are sick, dude. Some so history, dope. which would have been the San Francisco 49ers charging the field after not winning the game. McCole Hardman, to his credit, did not know. Oh that yeah, they won dude, a Super Bowl the, the receiver not. Hardman didn't know that they fucking won the game. He was like. He's like, cool, okay, touchdown. so they're getting the ball back, right? <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what? Uh, we, we won? It's actually so sick for Mikko Hardman, too, because um, he started the season on the Jets. He was on the Jets. And he yeah. played for the Chiefs before. What a story for the NFL to be able to chit-chat about that was how Sneed. we have another team. LeJerry Sneed. Yeah. That would have been so sick, bro, yeah. Yeah. if a Pat's defensive Bob's player like just came in and scored a touchdown. Oh, Sneed's number 10. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. well, he got pissed. Like, fucking Mahomes didn't throw him shit. Like, he was super open, like... Oh, you're talking about Pacheco, dude. Oh, Pacheco. My bad, my bad. Like... Tone digs is your tone. The books did not want the Chiefs and the over to hit. I'm How so do we feel glad about the way did, the though. NFL ended the season? Uh, tone digs. Yeah, the uh, the books cleaned... Or, the books got cleaned out uh, with the Chiefs uh, winning there. Obviously, all the big bets were coming in were on the Niners, but the majority of the money, like the public money... Was just a landslide I mean, of Chiefs money. How could so you they, not, dude? With they got Taylor there, Swift. It's Taylor they, Swift. They, it's a Taylor Swift I, effect, bro. If it was scripted for any team, it was for the fucking. Tone Diggs is looking kind of lean, by the way. Yeah. Good for him, dude. Time and it lands on forty-seven, yeah. almost goes over, so it goes under there. So the books are there, but the uh, books got crushed by the Chiefs. Oh yeah. I can't wait for us to start doing gambling. I put a lot. I put some money on uh, the. Did Chiefs. Did you win your bets? Yeah, I won a good amount. I was. That's up. good. I was up for the cool, day. Yeah, sure, That's awesome. I learned my fucking lesson betting on NFL. <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm going to be pretty good at it, man. I really do. I took Don't look at that. Don't look at me like that, Orlovsky. I know, right? Yeah, right? You're coming in saucy, bro. Chill out. Like that lip, bro. Like Glenn Howard. What their plan your jawline talking to me like that? <laughs> That's AJ Hogg, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. For yeah, sure. yeah, facts. Yeah, facts. <laughs> hey, he's talking about the dentist system, y'all. The dentist yeah, right. system. <laughs> D-E-N.
N I S. The dentist system. <laughs> the fact that he experienced it too. The rule changed like two years ago, and I think everybody See, yeah, that it was like two years ago. Okay. Or, or plays in the NFL. Right. My understanding was only if the if the starting team scored a touchdown, game over. If they kicked a field goal, the other team got a yeah, chance. Yeah, see, it was both of them. I was right. Patrick and Josh Allen. It was between the Bills and the Chiefs. Oh, wow. That's, yeah. Well, hey, it's all up here. It's all up there. It's all up here, man. It might be jumbled. But yeah, it's right. There. You just got to pull it out of me. It's like your physics work in, in uh, <laughs> yeah, facts, high school. Bro, it's yeah. like, I know I did the homework. Right. It's in here somewhere, dude. Know, somewhere. So I'm shocked that like they didn't have somebody, at least to our knowledge right now, you know, drum up some of these different rules or rule changes to make sure that everybody. Yeah, like quiz so the team. Really That's a good idea. Play, it's just playoff overtime rules, right? Yeah. Okay, so exclusively. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. And that's just because that like, there has to be an elimination. I was like, know? bro, how do you not know overtime rules? Like the. Fuck? I always thought that like I feel like ties shouldn't be allowed in the NFL though. Like I think no matter what, like there should have to be a winner. Yeah. Like if you come to the end of overtime. And, but you're tied. Like the end of overtime, you're still tied. Then, like you're, you have like a kickoff or something. Right. Like no, between bro, your just, kickers or some shit. Like, like my like, personal feeling is just play the game, add quarters, just keep playing the game. Oh, so like the end of NBA. Yeah. Like you just, just, just get an extra period. And like y'all just play it yes. out. That's why a, do we need all these better extra idea. rules? Why yeah. do we need all these extra rules? Just play the game. What if they did a simultaneous kickoff from both end zones and whoever makes it in <laughs> like, first? Just, just like, <laughs> right? So you have to split. That, hey, that would actually be really interesting. Like, right? wait, your team is Because there'd be a lot of strategy the other half that. is like fucking defense. Yeah, you're like, do like, you just go all out and like try to protect bro, like your runner? Or okay. do you like get like your speedster, like your tacklers? Like who, who, do, you, who do you get out there, right? Have you watched... Top Gun recently, because that you were literally <laughs> describing the fucking game from Top Gun, dude. That Have you seen awesome. that movie? No, I haven't. Okay, so like, uh, I guess the newer Top Gun, right? They're out on the beach and they're playing a game of football. Uh -huh. But the way they play the game of football is both teams are playing offense and defense at the same time. Right. And so it's supposed to simulate like working together in a dogfight in the sky, right? Wow. Like you are on offense and you're on defense. Yeah, no, so that like makes you're sense. You're trying to not yeah. die and trying to right. protect and take them down. Squad, yeah. Right? Uh huh. And that's literally what he's saying. Like, fuck it. Let's just simultaneously play offense and defense. Whoever Maybe they could that call ball, that that part of the, the that part of the game too. Like, like in overtime, they'll just call it Top Gun. Like that would be sick, dude. Right? Like, time for the Maverick. <laughs> All right. So regulation is over. Time for Top time Gun. For and then you get a stealth bomber fly and yeah, over. The and then stadium, they get dude. another fly oh over. God. Like, dude, it's like it's like the it's like the Buffalo Wild Wings like extra time button. <laughs> like, so like if they if they're thinking that it's gonna come through, like they'll have those same guys on lock and be like, all right, like we might need y'all to come <laughs> it's through. It's looking again. pretty close, man. Yeah, dude, it's getting close. Like y'all y'all be ready. Fire up the jets. Yeah, right. No Russian. No. <laughs> no, no Russian. <laughs> um. Well, yeah, Shit, man. I mean, what would happen if they're both on side and it's just like, fuck, which ball is which? And then they, they'll like, be colored. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they'll have like a stripe on yeah. them or something, like a red one and a blue one. Gender reveal football. Gender reveal. <laughs> Whenever you're the second person that gets the ball, obviously you're in an advantage because you know exactly what you have to do. Okay, we have to kick a field goal. Well, it's four down territory it's true. until we get into field goal range. Oh, we have to score a touchdown. Well, it's four down, four down territory until we score a touchdown. Mahomes yep. actually chirped about it yep. to NFL prime time, who had a phenomenal post Super Bowl show last night to Booger and Berman about the NFL rule, overtime rule, and playoffs. Yeah, we were gonna kick, and yeah. we got it. So I mean, they get, they let us know what, <laughs> what exactly. we're gonna do, so we can go for it on that fourth down. Now we talk about those situations all the time. I mean, we, we changed the rules, so, I mean, we can execute them on both ways. I don't I know how they're going to change it this time. I love, I love that. that. A little confidence, a little moxie, a little swagger. And because you get the ball no matter what, right? Did they so just like, now. Right. Now. So now yeah. they were, like, surprised they took the ball. They're like, Were they just okay. so sure of their defense? Like, they were just well, like. Well, no, it's like know. you said. They, like, so now, because of the way the overtime rules have changed, no matter what, even if the receiving team scores a tud, the other team gets a chance to score. Right. So, like. You either stop them, great. They score a field goal. You know you need at least a field goal, 
or they score a touchdown and you know you need a touchdown. So knowing what you have to match or what you need to do ahead of time allows you to game plan better from like yeah. a play calling perspective. So it's like the new meta is like yeah. be the yeah. second. It is. Yeah, yeah that's the new that's meta. Insane. Yeah, the new meta is to get the ball second now. So you that's watched crazy. this live, right? No. You didn't watch the overtime no. live? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I was like, because me watching it live, they <clears> won, like the 49ers won the coin toss for and overtime. And they chose to receive. And they chose to receive, and I didn't think twice about it. I was like, makes sense. Yeah. They're so stupid. I, that, I thought the Chiefs that I chose to kick. I thought that's. I thought the Chiefs won the no, toss. No, because they went, uh, 49ers went tails at the beginning of the <clears> game, <throat> and they lost. And Chiefs were like, okay, well, we obviously won it second half. They won the overtime toss. The 49ers mm -hmm. won the overtime toss because they went tails again. And then, obviously, they got the ball first. Man. So, yeah. They chose. So, Patrick Mahomes is probably like. He's like, no way. Oh, they don't know. No way. Yeah. Andy, oh, wait. They, they don't, don't know. know. Yeah. Don't know. No, right. They don't yeah. Know. No, you're right. The second they chose to receive, he's like, hey, hey, don't, don't say nothing. Don't tell him. Okay. Yeah, we'll defend that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, they had a fourth down where they had to pick it up. And it's like, yeah. if they would have went first, do they punt that there? Yeah. And then what happens with the Niners coming down, especially with Jake well, Moody, who just hit a 55-yard field goal? And NFL record, by the way. Want to be second? And yeah. I understand playing Twice that happened in the game. Yeah, which is crazy. Mahomes going to let that thing get to a third possession? I'm not 100% sure. Right. To your and point. A, Mahomes had a couple of QB fact, scrambles that were like, like, like integral mm -hmm. to their okay, win, too. Up. I loved his Steel, little. I want to uh, say in the third quarter where they had Superman. 31. I think it was like their second or third murdered. drive. That was the third quarter. amazing. They had work on Fred. Stepping up. And gets. Third and one. They don't get it. And it gets to like fourth and, you know, I half feel a so yard. That play. And in my gut, I was like, I wonder if Andy Reid goes for this just because to try to generate some juice. And he punted the ball in that situation. <laughs> like how they throw up a picture so of him. Believe. Like, yeah, right. he's not right there in front of him. Yeah, right. You, that's why who you play matters. You do not give an all-time great coach and quarterback. Dude, how many times have we seen situation. that, man? As a Packers fan, a million times. I've seen that shit so many times, dude. But you guys have been on the good end of a lot of those. Uh, kind of. Well, Aaron what Rodgers has led. Well, yes, drives but like, I'm saying like like we we put up like a lead though. And then you just give the other teams like 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 you pump you pump the brakes. It's like the Spurs. It's like get fucking Wemby out there, get that twenty point lead, bring his back like his ass back in. Right. It's like the fuck, dude. Like I'm I believe in burying people. I really do. And they're all all pro. So like if you're a Niners fan today and you're looking at the season and looking forward, like where do they even get better? Like, like, how, how do for real, dude? What the fuck? I mean, they made it to overtime in the Super Bowl. Dude. It's not you don't get much better than that. Oh, you know how they get better? Learn the fucking overtime rules. Oh, there bring, you go. There you go. Bring Colin Kaepernick back. He's gonna, <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be like, oh hell no. <laughs> yeah, Brock Purdy sucks, dude. He's a horrible. All right, now they're just they're just talking about the Niners yeah. now, so I don't care. I'm um, just, you know I'm one like thing, the 49ers, They were like, what's the safest like quarterback? Like we we need like the opposite. Uh, of Colin um, Kaepernick. um, Kirk Cousins. <laughs> He's a free agent. Yeah, he's about to get paid too. Apparently, another co guaranteed contract. <laughs> yeah, for for where? Probably Minnesota. Probably Minnesota again. Oh. Wherever somebody could use him, dude. Like, are you that, kidding that would me? Kind of sick. One uh, one thing I want to add, bro. A variation that we need for the broadcast. We need heart rate monitors on the quarterbacks. Ooh. And like oh, yeah. last drives, dude. I need or to know all the players. Rate. No, bro, not like fucking poly. Why don't hips, they? Dude, just like, oh. <laughs> no, that's a good point though. I'm surprised bro. they don't wear heart heart straps already. That's Wait. like such a good idea. Even can't you just throw on an Apple Watch and be like, what's going? On? Well, As I a mean, that might that, be then. rough for like oh, like yeah. like if you hit someone or some like, shit, or like a whoop <laughs> strap, like a whoop strap. Like those aren't very oh, yeah, bulky. Whoop, like they're kind whoop, of low dude. profile, maybe. Marketing opportunity, bro. Market with whoop and then and, like yeah, boom. make it a huge sponsor. Sponsor, huge sponsor. Collect like a billion dollars from them or some shit and just make all the nfl players wear them just so that when i'm freaking out when like it's fourth and one and i don't know if the chiefs are gonna pick Bro, it up actually, and my heartbeat's going crazy i can see dude, oh, patrick mahomes how, is sitting yeah cool i was gonna 80. say he's how like, that would actually be, be sick, right? the hardest shit ever like he's out there and it's like it's like fourth and 
fourth and inches or whatever, and it's the fucking Super Bowl in overtime. Homie's sitting at like 85 yeah. BPM. And like, fucking, I'm over here. And we're my... over here like freaking the fuck. Like your watch is telling you like, hey, are you doing like physical activity right now? Like what the fuck is going on? I got 5, like 5,000 Chiefs money line. God damn it. Yeah, He's having a fucking panic facts. attack. Pull him out. <laughs> abort, abort. <laughs> Does the whoop strike um, work if you pull Okay, so dick? there's a number. There was a bunch of uh, commercials during the Super Bowl. As y'all know, I didn't watch the Super Bowl, so like I didn't even see any of these. Um, but cause just because fuck the Chiefs and fuck the Niners. I'm so glad the Chiefs won, though. I'm so glad the Niners lost the way they did, too. Like It just makes me so happy. Fuck you. Um, but we're going to watch some of the best commercials that were aired this year. Like Don't blame us if they suck. Like Blame the they corporations, were They bro. were very Dude, mid. I don't know about you, but all my ads were local ads. Not all of them. There, were so, there was a There's a spot on the... So on the broadcast, we're local, like it's local only. I, my shit was only fucking Thomas J. Henry. I'm like, there was <laughs> that a is so lame. There actually. was a bunch of Thomas J. Henry, like, but during the section where in the four 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 motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh my like, yeah. god. <laughs> but they had, you'll notice every Super Bowl they have a section for local commercials. Mom, Tina loves holiday homes with a view. Look at your mother. <laughs> Welcome Jesus to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Super Bowl commercials of Whoa, what the fuck? Fucking AI. Yeah, that was weird. Anyone? Charcuterie board. Cheese. They like cheese. Brilliant. Done. <laughs> don't Number spoil 10, Nick. Twist on it. Oreo. Oh, I don't That's think I saw this one. Cream on the left, we get out of here. Cream on the right, we stay with those guys. <laughs> It would appear that Oreo is trying to replace the coin flip. We've never heard of twisting on it, but apparently this has been a common decision-making method since the age of the dinosaurs. Bruh, Bruh I've, I've never really seen a cream on an Oreo with that kind of real estate. There's no shot. <laughs> Creative liberties aside, this commercial puts a fun twist on several turning points. What if they were like... Story, from the Trojan horse oh, to no. the rise of boy bands to the day Kris Jenner got that fateful phone call. Every little detail about our family will be on TV. Who would watch that? Oh, God. Whether these moves benefit so humankind stupid. or set society back a few decades. It's scripted anyway. Like, thing is that every choice culminated. Is it really? Delicious dude, food. reality shows are like are always sure scripted. Are sure this commercial dude. is worthy of our list? Let's twist on it. Yup. Wait a minute. We could have been twisting on everything this whole time. Yes. <laughs> Since forever. Hot Number train. nine. Hello down there. Squarespace. Look at this. Bro, tell me why that's probably how it would go too. Facts. Although he was interested in adapting Blade Runner before Ridley Scott beat him to it. Dude, Blade Runner is so good. He finally touched upon the genre in this Squarespace commercial with so much UFO footage. Am I tripping? Is this an actual Watch Mojo? I'm so upset. I thought that Watch Mojo was just like part. I thought they were like. One of the Super Bowl ads. Oh, I thought that was, was a like a, a, a Watch Mojo ad. Okay, yeah, no, fuck that. <laughs> what the fuck? God, I'm definitely cutting that. But we're not. <laughs> oh, how the fuck did I not realize these were the Sennheiser? Yeah, they're bro. nice. Holy shit. Yeah, man. Shout out Germany. Right. Hell yeah. never uh, anything I don't know if we bad. should shout out Germany. <laughs> <laughs> You've ne you shit. Least controversial country. Manufactured ever. anything. <laughs> Peace loving. Zyklon B. It's real stand up. <laughs> no, you don't understand. I used to be a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. I used to be. A piece I of used shit. to be. Now, not anymore. I guess he just doesn't like me. No, no, he's just fussy. Nah, probably just doesn't like me because I used to be a piece of shit. <laughs> but they can't stop you from ordering a steak and a glass yeah, of water. It's, yep. Oh they said, please, no sloppy steak. Sloppy steaks at your bonnies. Big, rare cut of meat with water dumped all over it, water splashing around the table. I think we should, uh, who's the most controversial, like, sports guest we could have on? Like, fucking EDP or something. <laughs> Dude, oh, we need to have he EDP, would be dude. actually. I wonder if he's doing cameos. <laughs> Just like old fucking roast. He's got to be. He's broke as hell. There's no way. We'll pay you a thousand dollars to let us ask you questions, and for you to do a pro cut a promo <laughs> you, for this show. If you quit out of the interview early, you don't get paid. <laughs> we just ask him like 
fucking the questions. Yeah, we ask him the. That would actually be so sick. I so was, why the fuck, dude? Do you that like would like blow girls. the channel up like so hard. I don't I mean, think he would though. No, I don't think he would either. I mean, I'm just scared because it's like, sure, he's controversial, but he never got fucking charged. So it's like. It's super weird. No, I don't know. He also did it again, I think. Right. He, did. he did. Yeah, it at it's least like, once. I think he did it again like twice. I'm like, how? No yo, bullshit. Just here to get a cupcake. Go ahead. Oh, I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake <laughs> and then go back home. Like, what was that slip, just, dude? And it's all on I'm fucking hungry. YouTube, bro. Like, yeah. It is crazy. Oh, actually, we'll uh, we'll Refresh. fuck Philadelphia. <laughs> yeah, he is an Eagles fan, which kind of like. <laughs> oh, hi, Maya. You robots are sounding more human every day. There you go. I yeah, this is human. looking better. Yeah, it's, it's like I'm talking to a human. At Discover, everyone can talk to a human representative. All right, prove it. Wait, are you a robot? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How would I prove that I'm not? Twenty four seven, you. Win. I did kind of like that. That one, actually though. is funny. Yeah. Like holy shit! You're I like, wait, it. what? Can you play that bee boop boo boo bop? <laughs> yeah, bee boop boo boo oh, bops. No. Oh, it's coming in hot. That's Verizon five G. Bro, how much do you think she got powerful. paid? I bet you oh, can't like a that. lot of money, dude. Like an absurd <laughs> okay, amount of money. Wait, what? Tony Hale, I love you. Did I break it? You broke me. <laughs> it works so. <laughs> out. Introducing. <laughs> Beyonce, I. What? Beyonce, I. <laughs> Dude, that's so sick. Okay, they ready. Drop the new music. Frank's Red Hot is so good, I put oh. it on everything. Literally. Every. Putting on his dick. Thing. That's what I'm thinking. And I'm even putting on foods, advertising in the big game. Then, I'm going to eat them. Bunch of cookies. <laughs> bowls of chips. Even bowls of yogurt. I actually fuck with this. Yes. Even as long as it's got Frank's on it, I didn't see this. It's gonna be Dino, my baby. <laughs> Yo, hey, Fra Yo, Frank's man. buffalo sauce is fire. I for real, for real. The most problematic part of that commercial is that he said pop. That is pretty controversial. Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Cut. Hey, Arnold. I'm hearing neighbor. It's neighbor. That's what I said. Neighbor. 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 Hey, let's go again. Like a good neighbor. State Farm is there. Cut. <laughs> now what? It's neighbor. Neighbor. Cut. Neighbor. Yeah, neighbor. Just like it's written on a paper. This lady is in labor. <laughs> Look at this. This is labor. Like a good neighbor. <laughs> that was the sheep. And you know it. It's like you're cold. Burr. Yeah, I'm cold. Bah. <laughs> neighbor. Still no. Like a good neighbor. Cut. Burr. Was that a predator Burr. reference? Burr. Neighbor. Neighbor. Burr. Bah. Burr. Bah. Get me out of this chopper. It's pronounced chopper. Oh, no, what? It is. Neighbor. I'm not going to lie. That was actually pretty good. Hey, Arnold. It gets better, bro. Script change. Script change. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Agent State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. What the <laughs> fuck? Teddy DeVito. That was very meta. I appreciate yeah, right? the shit out of that. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. What was the movie where there were twins? Twins? It's yeah. called Twins. Yeah. Oh my god. I swear to be, to be a good, good neighbor. neighbor. I think. your purpose to find a place to rent <laughs> i know renters when i see them <laughs> apartments.com ones are guarded when you dude. move to a new city or galaxy second ufo commercial com. we can help you get into a lovely one bedroom two bedroom i don't want to presume anything <laughs> i like these guys apartments.com bruh <laughs> apartments.com commercials are goaded this here this is company TV is to this, bro us, i like this one this one's funny on as fuck farm, we grow couch potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> couch potatoes grow big and strong. This looks like idiocracy, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, next on the Violence Channel, an all-new album. Oh, 
GB. <laughs> Electrolytes. <laughs> yeah, this is what, right. This is what oh, plants crazy. crave. It's true. Open the app. Something great will be on. I oh, love Star Trek. Rondo. I love romance, but I also love murder. I like romantic murders. SpongeBob SquarePants. Cats 24 7 channel. I love Ink Master. Pluto TV just gets me. I like anything where. Ink Master is pretty sweet. It is pretty sweet. We're living in a golden age of television. Looks like that Pluto TV romance channel's got those. This actually looks a little like dystopian, though, because I feel like this is what a lot of people are turning into nowadays. Right. Like, when you really think about like, this might be reviewed. Like in the future, like of history, and be like, this is wow, they, were they, wrong. they weren't wrong, oh, man. Yeah, this is like a Simpsons oh, yeah. moment. Hot honey pizza and wings from Rachel Wahut. I'd eat the fuck out of that, That's to be not honest. A thing. Pizza Wahut? What? Mm, pizza Wahut. Pizza Wahut. You can't out Pizza the Hut, dude. Pizza Wahut. I'm That's not gonna that. lie, I actually kind of like that. I want to try that so pizza is that hut? bad of me, dude. I really want to eat that. Yeah, let me get that uh, pizza with the hold the sus sauce. Hold the sus sauce. Yeah. Yeah. You're freezing me. That means. Yes. There's a better chicken wing. Popeyes. <laughs> the sailor man? No. The, sailor. the chicken place. So stupid. Crispy. Juicy. What else have we done? I mean, man, there's a lot. There's a lot's been going on. We did it! The wait is over. Popeyes finally has wings. It's like a condensed version. Oh, wait, I'm just realizing, yeah, Popeyes never had wings before. Why'd it take them so long? <laughs> what the fuck? They're not, they're okay. They just got wings the same time Taco Bell did. <laughs> Ugh. Taco Bell has wings? They have nuggets. Uh, they might be getting it's expensive. nuggets. expensive. Oh, pricey makeup is a scam, like <clears throat> couples therapy or boundaries. Ooh, I object to his whole life. You're telling me you need to spend $92 on foundation? Don't pee on my leg and tell me it's raining. I confess. I just want it to look dewy. Radiant. Luminous. Glowy. Elf and hot. Yeah, but this stuff costs a fortune and it isn't even cruelty free. <gasps> I know. I'm not proud of it. Gasp. That's so stupid. <laughs> and sentence you to fourteen dollar glowy skin. Okay, just wait. Stop. So what do I get? Sorry, no makeup can cover up irritating. Well, that's okay. I don't mind being irritating. Judge Beauty. I respect it. Oh, Judge Beauty. Yeah. That's hilarious. What do you think about this, Nick? I just remind me of the same fucking gross blanket marketing towards women, because whoever owns Elf owns Victoria's Secret, so it's like the same fucking. Are you shit. serious? Really? I, swear to I God. didn't know that. Dang, I didn't know that God. either. Man, spit some knowledge on us, why don't you? I used to be an investor in Elf. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. yeah. Wait, are you still selling the regular cups? Yep. Yeah. Just like Reese's with caramel. Have you had the ones with chips in them, dude? I've, I've heard, heard they're actually the like amazing. I haven't tried. Well, yeah, it's like salty sweet. The caramel's good. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Can we help you? I have a delivery. Oh, for this Athena. is a Reese's Nornia commercial. Nornia Nornia this one's worse on it. Oh, Bring no, they got all the man. shit. It's fucked all up. fucked up. Yeah, yeah, it's all one off. My favorite part Welcome of eating Detroit. a Reese's Open is the taking its little panties off. Thank you. <laughs> Should we report that? I just put. You don't eat the panties too. <laughs> He's like, no, nah, I, I no, save it for later. You sure that's a good idea? It's artificial intelligence. It's the worst that could happen. Hello, father. Yeah, absolutely not. What was that? Boy bands. They're gonna be huge. Fine. Cream on the right, we're in. So every little detail about our family will be on TV? Who would watch that? All right, let me twist on it. Cream on the left, we'll do the show. <laughs> Hope you can keep up. Wait a minute. We could have been twisting on everything this whole time. Yes. <laughs> I actually this do think this forever. is a good commercial. This is going to make our job so much easier. These are like gods or some shit? Like, oh, yeah. we could have just been like... <laughs> this story is oh mad good. Thanks, boo. I spy Ew, what the fuck? Wait, who's that? It's my ex, Lemon Lime Soda. You're looking well. 
I just needed something more refreshing, more crisp. I'm more starry now. This is intense. He's so vulnerable. But I love you. <laughs> Why does he have driver oh, gloves on? Okay. Ah! Or not. Huh, starry does taste better. <laughs> Hi. That was a cringe commercial, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. Hi, I'm Bradley Cooper. Step aside, phone boy! With magenta status, there's no need to fill up when you drop off your car at dollar. Are they trying to be the new, uh... They look like they're trying to be uh, Mayhem from State Farm. T-Mobile, so the... What do they have, that British guy now? You know the commercials with, um... Patrick Mahomes and the, like, British dude who, like... You, no, probably not. Okay. I don't think so. Hello, Patrick Mahomes. Oh. But the fact that you don't know who the T Mobile guy is makes sense why they. Oh, are trying they're to here. A new one. No, that's Sprint. Can you hear me now? That's Sprint. Um, The British guy. Oh, from... wait. The, he they're used also... to be on T Mobile. That Sprint motherfucker. Like, Sprint spent, what, 10 years trying to get his ass? Yeah. And then, like, I was like, bro, I thought that was Verizon. You traitor. I swear he was on T-Mobile. I did, yeah. He, he was, was on, on Verizon. He was on Verizon. He was on Verizon and then he went to, and then he went to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it was fucking Verizon. We're bringing together the nation's agents in a super comprehensive agent director. You know he bought a helicopter. Gathering up close detailed info on neighborhoods. <laughs> and hiring top... Bro, whoever uploaded this video is so ass. Yeah, they had to like Weezy. <laughs> like I'm wondering if it's copyright or They're something. They're trying to avoid copyright. Yeah. Or they got well, copyright. The song maybe got them. Maybe. Some people just don't know how to navigate that shit. All right. Fuck all that shit. Look at Kanye's commercial, yeah, bro. Yeah, a lot of those were very mid. Yeah, actually, let's talk about it real quick. Those were mid. Dude, was there, was there even an Eminem's commercial? I didn't even see. No way. No there actually way. wasn't. Was there a Doritos commercial? There, yes. there was, but it was the Dinamita, Dinamita. shit with uh, Jenna Ortega. Dina, Ita. And then I think like the other one I remember was Budweiser. I was going to say, like, those are the staples. It's like Budweiser, M&M's, Doritos. There was a bunch of Bud Light. Yeah. I didn't see a Bob right. Blast commercial, which was yeah, fake. Yeah, it was Aubrey Plaza. It's me, America's sweetheart. Oh, that's right. Okay. Aubrey that's right. Plaza, Baja Blast. Yeah. I, I'm tripping. That was actually a good ad. It was a pretty down year for Super Bowl commercials, not going to lie. Oh, at least the Super Bowl itself was pretty decent. Yeah, I mean, that, from that's what actually I good. They both sucked. Like, what the hell? Yeah, it's like that year that, like, the uh, was it the uh, the Rams and the yeah, Patriots the played? Oh, and they had a scoring, combined dude? score of, like, 20 points or some Miserable, shit. Man. And the ads were lame. Like, what the fuck, dude? Thank you for spelling it. Com, and I'm gonna write it at the bottom of the screen. And I got some shoes. And mm, that's it. <laughs> he ran that shit during the Super Bowl, bro. What the fuck, man? But that isn't it? Not, you know what's funny, though? It's kind of genius. That was not Kanye. Oh, no, it was. You didn't what? hear about his new um, teeth procedure? No. Oh, dude. Oh, no. sweet. Okay, so for anyone who doesn't know about Kanye's uh, mouth procedure. Why did he look fat and he sounded dumb as fuck? Can't handle any complexity in it, you know? Don't make me think. I just want to be entertained. Uh, well, that was Kanye, bro. Uh, what the fuck? There's these things called calories. and I, Bro, that looked like you a need weird them. ass. You, like, you have too many of them. Not like a deep fake, but like a shitty impersonator. <laughs> He's wearing shoulder pads. Dollar makeover on his teeth. Hey, it's Asia Sky for Hip Hop DX, and check this out. Eight hundred fifty thousand, bro. His teeth with titanium, and apparently what it cost him fuck? hundreds of thousands of dollars. They're custom. He made them. January seventeenth, the rapper and producer shared a series. I of swear to God, that's what they actually look like. His new silver gray. And they're like, they're like, it's like, it's like straight. Like, and that's why when he was talking in the commercial, he sounded like he had a lisp. Bro, you melted. Yes. You melted fucking CeeLo Green down from the fucking Grammys and made a grill. 
The Daily Mail originally reported that Ye had Wait, that's actually kind of hard. removed and replaced with titanium, but Hip Hop DX has since confirmed with one of Ye's reps that this is in fact not true. Oh, that's okay. Hip-Hop that's Hip-Hop good. Also got in touch with Dr. Thomas Connolly, who reportedly worked on the $850,000 alteration and said, Ye was a pleasure to work with every step of the process. His vision for designing unique art transcends the dental progression. I knew people were going to say that, dude. He's a fucking genius. He's groundbreaking. That was from the Daily Mail. What the fuck? That's crazy, That's right? That's insane, bro. I'm sorry. You're going to need to pull up a fucking American But like, I like, okay, outlet. so about his... What the fuck? CNN is fake news. I don't take questions from CNN. You can't people just lie about everything. That's fucking weird. Let's so... See. His commercial. I didn't even see that. What the fuck? Kind yeah, well, th- to be fair, this did just happen, like, pretty recently. Did he, like, upload it to, like, TikTok or some shit? No, I actually saw this on TikTok, though. Um, Reputable. Dude, that, that's it, you, like, honestly, it kind of is, in my opinion. Once people vet the information, but, like, just at face value. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, you always got to, you know, you always got to look into it. Um, Kanye West. Clone. <laughs> It's true. <laughs> it's true, man. People don't talk about that. It's what? on the internet, bro. It's true. It's facts. <clears throat> as long as you say, I don't know if any of this is actually right. true at the end. Right. Good. But yeah, at the very end of that, you say anything, you just go, but I don't know. But I don't know. But I don't know. <laughs> Kanye's just like, bro, give me something where I could just open a bottle. Yo, this like- day, <laughs> we just sold out the United Center in seven minutes. And I just wanted to express to everybody out there to see if it's anyone that can help with this. It's the only arena that I had access to How's he gonna in the be past able to sing year. Now? And when I call, people say there's okay. no avails for me. And you know why that is. So if there's anybody out there that can help with this, please do. Okay, well, he's got new teeth. Kanye West recently shocked fans by flaunting new metallic dentures. On his Instagram he he fucked his whole face up. Like, look, he looks like he's got like bubble gum in his mouth or yeah. something. Like at all at all he times. <sighs> Do you think he's swollen because he actually like removed his teeth? You might that actually would make sense. Maybe it's gonna take some time for his face to go back to normal. Connolly refutes this claim, insisting West still has all his natural teeth. The dentures were further showcased by Connolly on his own Instagram story. He praised West's unique vision and the resulting epic Oh, okay. Look. So that was However, the guy, right? Connolly? Yeah, I guess so. So he said he still has all his original teeth. He's just got this titanium either... So I wonder if they're removable or if it's still permanent, or like, um, like a retainer. In 2010, yeah. he claimed to have replaced his bottom teeth with diamonds, a decision he said was inspired by Was that false, stars. too? West's fascination with this is what happens when journalists read lyrics and they're like... I'm going to take this at face value. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? This is like... Kanye West I think it's weird. removed all the teeth I don't... from his mouth to get extravagant dentures made of titanium. Kanye West's new teeth cost $850,000 and can cut teeth. Many media outlets reported that Kanye <laughs> removed his teeth, cut teeth, teeth. To get the titanium ones. But a source close to Kanye West said that he supposedly has all of his teeth intact and did not remove them. I mean, either way, I mean, does it regardless, really does yeah, it really like him walking around like, with that shit in his mouth is still like yeah. fucking nuts. One's when, definitely more ridiculous. It's, it's just a gold wrapper of five gum. Like y'all remember doing that Dude, shit? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I remember other people. I never did that shit, but yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I would say too if I did that shit all the time. Facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blue grill, bro. Get that fucking <laughs> looking five good, gum. bro. Can we figure out if this year's Super Bowl is going to be one of those games where racism is banned in the end zones or not? Like at this game, Rams, there were like no racism oh, in the oh, okay. end zone. <laughs> Same with the in this game. But this aerial shot of the Vegas field doesn't have the no racism allowed so you can be racist does that mean it is allowed yeah don't worry i'm not crazy i understand that in the middle of the field racism is always allowed but it's in the end zones where it's not right at some games but then do the decals on their helmets override what the end zones say no like does this decal mean that even if racism was allowed at that game in the end zones if you were around kirk cousins you couldn't be racist yeah exactly that yeah valid says it takes all of us 
while not explicitly end racism, I think it's in the same category. So Mahomes can't be racist to anyone. No one can be racist to Mahomes, no matter what the end zones say. Right. But then, like, Nick Bosa doesn't have any. He that. can be racist. <laughs> he can be racist. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Nick him Bosa and Strickland might have a racist. compelling yes, conversation. I understand the rules, so I know what to expect. Oh, I never really thought about it that way. That's sure is something to think about, huh? Yeah, really. I mean... It really kind of, you know, it's funny. I never thought twice about this ever, but until she started talking about this, when you really think about it, this is kind of stupid. The end racism. I, the end yeah, zone. it does seem a little. What's the most racist sport y'all can think of? Uh, That's a cricket. Cr- cricket. I, <laughs> Why? I, I don't I, know, because it. it it's not, not, not that I'm saying it's, it's the, true. Like but official like, British sport. I don't fucking know. If I was a normal average person, I would probably say like NASCAR, golf, fucking. The Guardian, English I, cricket is racist, sexist, and elitist. <laughs> yeah. June, that, that, this was crickets. like I, I seven know. months ago. I believe it. English cricket suffers from widespread and deep rooted racism, sexism, and elitism, and class based discrimination at all levels of the game. Damn. Compelling. A one the three hundred seventeen page report from the Independent Commission for Equity in Cricket, which drew on evidence from more than four thousand players, coaches, and administration of fans, also urges the sport to also face up to the fact that it's not just banter or just a few bad apples. Oh man, what uh, the fuck? Shout out America. Yeah, right. Okay, skip ahead to that. So racism is entrenched in cricket. What does the stat say? Okay, let's see. Racism is entrenched in cricket. It is not confined to pockets, um, nor is it limited to individual incidences or incidents of misconduct. They found that 87% of people of Pakistani and Bangladeshi heritage who responded to its survey, along with 82% of Indian and 75% of black residents, said they had experienced discrimination. Those are big numbers. What the fuck? So that's because Pakistan and Bangladesh, like in India, used to be like protectorates of like the British Empire and they wouldn't let them play cricket. So I I could see that. Oh, so it's like a little personal. Women are marginalized and routinely experience sexism and misogyny with women's teams frequently demeaned, stereotyped, and treated as second class. This also just sounds like what the WNBA girls are saying, though. I didn't know there was facts. Which is my point. That's sexist. Oh, no. man. Yeah, you're right, Nick. <laughs> you're right, Nick. Look at us. A couple like, it like, is. Uh, some elitist pigs. It is sexist, what? but not by me because they don't advertise the Yeah, right. That's a them problem, players. bro. That's Why don't they get me. some funding? All right. Also, they're really surprised that like there's sexism in Pakistan and Bangladesh. Like, right. No, no yeah, way. Really? Like, Whoa, really? <laughs> uh, let's see. So women are, there's a lot of sexual misconduct because they all like to get turned. They're drinking in, uh, what is this? Pure, Puriel? Puerile. Puerile, lads. That's an interesting Wait, word. Highlight it again. A drinking in puerile, puerile lads culture across the sport that puts women it's at risk culture. of unwanted attention. That reminds me, did y'all see that soccer coach that like kissed that girl on the mouth after yeah, they won right. in the World Series? They're like, how dare a French guy kiss a fucking like, lady? And it's like, bruh. He's fucking French. He did kiss her on the what? mouth, though. Did it was she get mad crazy. about it? Oh, wait. She got upset about it, no, right? Didn't she? No. She, like... Like, at first, I think she was, like, cool. Like, at first, she was cool with it. And then there was, like, outrage. And then she, like, was not. And then She's she like, was, like, yeah, not cool you're with it. Right. Um, soccer coach. Yeah, see, look. You see how quick it popped up? Like, the, Un- yeah, this shit was crazy when it happened. Unbisu. I, the whole the grabbing president of, the of the head Spanish thing. Football <laughs> Federation has been slammed for this. Luis Rubiales kissed World Cup winner Jenny Hermoso on the lips during the medal. He ceremony. kissed her like four she times. She did not and then grabbed that. her by Rubiales both sides of her head. It was inappropriate. I mean, and Andy, planted one on her. Andy Reid kissed fucking Patrick Mahomes like that. Nobody batted an eye. Tom Brady kissed his son like that. And it's true. And then Meat Canyon made a commercial. I mean, a cartoon about it. Did y'all see that? <laughs> no. Y'all Meat haven't. Canyon made a. You haven't seen you haven't seen that? <laughs> okay, yeah. well, oh. hey, we've watched this on the show before, but hey, I mean, for anyone who's shit. new here, oh, that's not how you spell Brady. A Super Bowl win under your belt. Oh, it's actually funny. This is relevant. I'm gonna spend time with my family. <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Jesus. You, you know I won this game for you, right? I know, Daddy. I know. I gave 110% out there. <laughs> that extra 10% was for you. <laughs> <laughs> You are the greatest quarterback to ever live, Daddy. Do you, do you really mean it, son? I really do. Come on, Dad. That was just a peck. No. <laughs> I love you, Daddy. <laughs> Yo, what? <laughs> Don't fucking cut me! <laughs> How many more rings do I have to wear for you to understand? <laughs> God damn it! Fuck! I want to get out of here. You want to get out of here? Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. All right, bye everyone. See you at the next Super Bowl. Oh, Yo. she just took off flying. Like, just <laughs> that actually would have been better. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, wild. that was literally the first Meat Canyon video I ever saw. What the I, I watched them all. Like, that was incredible. I mean, I, okay, I don't want to say like I watched them all, but when I do get sent one and watch one, I'm just they're like, the best. Yeah, you're just glued. I'm like, no, I'm like shaking my head. I'm like, oh no, here we go, dude. I've never even heard of that creator. Like, oh, really? dude, Meat Canyon. Oh. <laughs> Oh, That's, oh! You look you them just, up on YouTube. Dude, you just created or even a monster. better. No, even better. You haven't seen them. Don't watch them. I'll, okay. I'll bring one up like we'll, each week. We'll divide. Yes. Like, fucking just digest one. Dude, you <laughs> created right. a monster. Oh, dude, no, it's great. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna wrap up with Deadpool trailer just because we're already coming up on an hour. And um, Nick, you haven't seen it. Ben, have you seen it? I don't think I saw like the full trailer. I think I saw like a little teaser. Oh, thing. sweet. That's even better. Cool. Okay, cool. Because I saw this shit, but like I'll, I'll watch it again. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I really hope this movie is not shitty because it's like it Disney won't be. now. It won't be. All right, okay. Um, it's been a challenging few years, for sure. But I'm happy. That is because of each and every one of you. I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> Make a wish, buddy. Lee Wilson? Who's asking? Whoa, 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 whoa. Is that supposed to be scary? Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was wondering about the yeah, hair, bro. Yeah. I was like, what? Mr. Wilson, you appear to have soiled yourself while unconscious. I wasn't unconscious. Who are you? <laughs> <laughs> Walk with me. Wait, you are special. This is your chance to be a hero among heroes. I smell what you're stepping in, Sensei. Your little cinematic universe is about to change forever. I'm the Messiah. I am. He's okay. smooth with it, man. Okay. He's smooth with it. <laughs> God, I love this part. Wait! <sighs> Don't just stand there, you ape. Give me a hand up. I'm actually okay. Thank you very much. Right. Holy shit. I didn't realize this was posted to Ryan Reynolds YouTube. YouTube. That is actually like the coolest shit. That's like the biggest flex right. ever. Oh, dude, it's, it's just like his YouTube. That's so sick. That's pretty sick. He's got 4.3 million. Yeah, bro. Crazy. Think about how much of that was just from this alone. Like, I damn. Know, right? I can't wait. It actually, looks, it actually sick, looks pretty good. Right. I haven't been excited for a Marvel movie or show 
Like, they, I mean, I stopped caring, dude. Yeah, but like, but this, yeah, this looks fucking awesome. I'm right there with you. Right, actually. I, I haven't given a shit. About I, not anything. a fuck anymore. I didn't even watch uh, Ant Man and the Wasp when that oh. was supposed to have Kang in it, and yeah. I, like Quantum Mania, dude. That, that was that was was that what it was called? I don't know, dude. Maybe I literally stopped giving a fuck. Facts, but now because the TVA is involved, I do want to go watch season two of Loki because that might actually be relevant now. Yeah, but see, that's the part that I don't like. When they start going, oh, dude, but if you don't watch this, know, you'll miss out I on know, that. And I'm like, I dude, know. fuck you. It's <laughs> I'll watch whatever the fuck I want to yeah. watch. Don't tell me what to watch, bro. I respect that. If your movie is only good if I get the reference because I watched your little shitty TV show, then fuck your movie. I mean, to be fair, the Loki... I mean, at least season one of Loki was really good. And I, I heard season it. two was good. I, f I fucked with it. I didn't get into season two. I got kind of balls deep into WandaVision. Yeah. But. I never watched WandaVision, but I heard that was pretty decent too. It's meta. All right, let's. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll watch this too because it's short. I just wanted y'all to really see this. All right, hole in one. It's just moments ago, Sam Ryder taking it right at it. Talk to me. Oh yeah, baby. Beautiful. Damn. This is one of like the greatest reactions oh, ever. There's liquid coming down. There's going what? Down. There's liquid coming down. Chill PGA, he only saved fucking two strokes, bro. Dude, this is on hole 16, too. Damn. That's such a sick spot to get it. Yeah, no, for real. We gotta be a par three. Watch everyone, watch more. the crowd's reaction, dude. That's why it's there. Watch. Holy shit, man. Plays it perfectly to the right of the hole. Falls back down. Beautiful. And watch. That hole is right there for that reason. Because it's a par three, right? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, let's dude. Go. Fuck, that's what I said. Let's I was go. like, fuck, yeah, man. Dude, let's fucking go. Yeah, this go. is actually awesome. Okay, I, dude, golf might be the move, bro. If they do it like this. <sighs> Waste management open. Fuck. Yeah, right. Oh, drinks, <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, dude, Waste management is their sponsor. That's so genius. It's the waste management. Hole 16. Go fucking crazy. We'll clean it up. That actually is genius. It's pretty sick. Yeah. Did you see that waste management was also... They also uh, suspended the sale of alcohol recently. Did y'all hear about this? That's yeah. actually a hilarious segue. Okay, we'll go just a little longer. Watch. Oh, that's why. It was that's at that event. That's why. Yeah. Wow, yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. I, you know, I saw some videos what? on TikTok of people talking about this, but I didn't know what the fuck it was Me about. neither. Yeah. No, that. I just scrolled us. past it. Hey, yeah. I was like, we we put all the pieces together. Let's that's go. very cool. <laughs> oh, well, hell yeah. PJ's just like, hang on. We are not NASCAR. Like, we got to chill. Yeah, fuck right. Kyle yeah, yeah, yeah. Facts, right. Image, fuck Cow Bush. Roll Tide. Fuck Cow Bush. Praise hell, praise hell. Okay. What'd you want to pull up? Oh, if you go to Instagram, just pull up time. They had a really like cool throwback of like the Super Bowl. Like I guess Times Instagram, like Time, like uh, Time Magazine. magazine. I, I don't know if it's like called magazine. It should just be fucking Time. time. But I thought it was pretty cool. Yo, that's hard. Their thing is just Time. Their handle is that dude, actually it, that does go time. hard. And then, that does go hard. So fucking sick. There should be a black and white like bait. There it is. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, dude. That's um, yeah, Super Bowl one. Yeah, and that picture is in Chiba Hut. What? The Chiba Hut? No way. Yeah, that picture is like framed and it's on the wall. I think they might have photoshopped like a J in his hand instead. Yeah, yeah, they, they did. They did Photoshop a J. Fucking drinking fresco, yep. bro. By the way, Packers won that. Just saying. Shout oh, out. did they? Yeah, yeah, we won the first two Super Bowls. You sons of back bitches. to back. Yeah, no, this picture goes hard, though. This is like uh, the Joe Burrow smoking his cigar energy. Oh, I think there's more. There's, like, <laughs> yeah. multiples. If you wanna, oh, like, is there? Through them. Uh, like, if you go back to the yeah, post. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is. I a... think, because there's, like, a couple other locker room. Oh, like, yeah, pictures. right here. Okay. Sorry, I never used it. Oh, Whoa, oh that's right. cool. Is he ladling Gatorade? Like, what the fuck? I think so. Or Fresca. <laughs> Yo, that's so sick. Stealing fucking signals. Yo, this is actually kind of dope. Coca More fresco. Fresco. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's hey man, that so was a good cool. game, bro. Yeah, right. For we real. We should do this again. He doesn't even have a name on his jersey. No, nah, What's dude, up with like, that? That's crazy, man. Wait. I mean, that's a white guy, right? 
I mean, I don't want to get the left guy's a black dude. Oh, and he oh have, wait, he, they didn't let him have his name on the back. It's kind of fucked up, dude. What the fuck? It's kind of fucked up. Look that shit up real quick. Hey, right not here. saying that that's real. Not saying that I, it's but true. But like that might be. Yeah, actually, might be real though. <laughs> that which would be kind of crazy. I can say whatever I want as long as I say that I don't know if it's real. But hey, but but, but I don't Super know. Super Bowl one could have been racist. Hey, but I don't know. But hey, you, but I don't know. You do the research. I don't know. Hey, actually, you know what? Plug your plug the other channel. Yeah, uh, for UFC live commentary. Yeah, we've got a big uh, card coming up. This I think it's two ninety eight this weekend. Volkanovski, a lot of other people on the card. I know I Volkanovski. That's yet. exciting. But yeah, it's gonna be a big one. We're um, gonna make some fucking money. Bro. Yeah, let's we're gonna, go. We're gonna make some Fuck yeah. Money. So it's. Do, you, do um, y'all ever go live like before and talk about your bets? No, we kind of just like on the spot. We go like. like wouldn't that be kind of fun to do though? We kind of maybe y'all should it. include that as a part of your thing, maybe. like just so people know what bets y'all have. We're like a little shoot from the hip better. No, but even yeah. that, but like, like maybe you should do it on camera though. Is what I'm saying. We do it on camera. Oh, sweet. Okay, yeah. so y'all do talk about the yeah, bets. Right. Okay, okay, but sweet. We just don't okay. pre-plan them. We just go. Okay. How do you feel? Yeah, and then sure. Just go for Let's it. go, you know I mean? man. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So yeah, sweet. that's uh, the Ultimate Fight Club on YouTube. We'll put another link in the description. Hell yeah. Y'all come join us for that. It'll be sick. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it. Hey, on the road to 1313. Shouts out to the old subs. Shouts out to the new subs. Be a friend. Tell a friend. Once again, we are definitely not experts. Get a clank on the way out. Yo. Yes, sir. One time, two time for the two time. Yo. Clank it. Oh, bam. bam. Y'all be easy. Later. Chill, yo. I mean, is he uh, retarded? Retarded means slow. Was he slow? No. And you don't sound retarded to me. He's a good kid and devil behind the wheel. What the hell else more do you need to know?